warm greetings to one and all. I am Taufik Pitaj, B.Tech student in Electronics and Communication Engineering in Amal Jodi College of Engineering, Kanyarapalli. I am here with a presentation on Wireless Power Transmission Technology. We all know that in this era of modernization, electricity has become cup of everyone's life. life. A moment without electricity makes your thinking go dry. So, I am here with wireless power transmission technology, an innovation in electric electricity and its transmission. Let us check it. Let us first see the let us first see the overview of our presentation. We have introduction, definition, history and types of wireless power transmission technology. The types are atmospheric conduction method, electrodynamic induction method, the advantages and disadvantages of this technology, applications, conclusion and thereafter the references. First, we can go to the introduction. One of the major issues First we can go to the introduction. One of the major issues in power systems is the losses occurring during the transmission and distribution of electric power. The percentage of loss of power during transmission and distribution is approximated as 26 percentage. That is the world average. The main reasons for Power loss during transmission and distribution is the resistance of wires used in grid. That is the wires are causing here the pro causing the problem here. According to the World Resources Institute, short termed WRI, India's electrical electricity grid has the highest transmission and distribution losses in the world, a whopping 27 to 40 percentage, that is greater than the world average. Tesla has proposed methods of transmission of electricity using electromagnetic induction. And in introduction, let me say our country's situation. The loss of electricity greater than the world average is terrifying. 27 to 40% of electricity generated is losing. What is the reason behind it? The wires used in grid. This is the reason. Being world's fourth largest economy and being world's upcoming country with technological aspects and manpower resources, the country is not able to reduce this loss. It is a fatal that the country is not able to reduce this, reduce this problem and find a solution. And I hope that the people and the techno technocrats in the country would check upon the issue seriously. And I am suggesting here wireless transmission, wireless power transmission technology to the problem as a solution. So I am suggesting here wireless power transmission technology as a solution to the problem. The electricity in India is generated using hydroelectric projects, thermal power plants which uses coal and the nuclear power plants which uses nuclear elements such as thorium, the coal and thorium as well water are important natural resources and we are using and depleting these resources for this generation of electricity. And a 40% of electricity lost from this means it's terrifying. It's terrifying to the economical stability of our nation too. Next we can check the definition, as the word wireless means without wire. Wireless energy transfer or wireless power is the transmission of electrical energy from a power source to an electrical load without interconnecting man-made conductors. The use of wire is avoided here. Wireless transmission is useful in cases where interconnecting wires are inconvenient, hazardous or impossible. These are the situations of using wireless transmission but we should use is it as a holy and the world should ensure a wireless transmission of electricity soon we can i hope soon we can see that
Next, we can check the history of wireless transmission. Sir Nikolai Tesla was the first one to propose and research the idea of wireless transmission in 1899. Since then, many scholars and scientists have been working to make his dream a reality. In 1899, Tesla continues wireless power transmission research in Colorado Springs and writes, The inferiority of the induction method would appear immense as compared with the disturbed charge of ground and air method. It's quoting. In 1961, William C. Brown publishes an article exploring possibilities of microwave power transmission. Recently, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in America, the top leading technological university in the world, had a research on microwave power transmission that is MPT. In 2009, Sony shows a wireless electrodynamics induction power TV set 60 watt power over 50 cm. Let's now check the methods of wireless transmission of power. Different methods of transmission proposed by different scientists and scholars are First one, atmospheric conduction method of Tesla Second one, the electromag the electrod Second one, the electrodynamic induction method There are two subtypes for this, microwave method and laser method Let us first check the atmospheric conduction method In 1899, Sir Nikolai Tesla and Heinrich Hertz powered a fluorescent lamp, keeping it 25 miles away from source without using wire. Wireless power transmission experiments at Warden Cliffe, high frequency current of a Tesla coil could light lamps filled with gas like neon. In this method, a closed circuit is made using transmitter ionized path between upper surface atmosphere and transmitter, second ionized path connecting the receiver. The circuit back to the transmitter is connected through the earth. I think the idea is of clear. The ionized path between the upper atmosphere and transmitter provides a second ionized path connecting the receiver. This will transmit the power. And it was successful when Sir Nicolai and Heinrich do with the fluorescent lamp keeping it 25 miles away from the source without using a wire. High potential is made at transmitter and receiver end as well. A high potential transmitter transmits an electromotive impulse through the ionized path to the upper atmosphere where it ionizes the air and this air between the transmitter and receiver would conduct like a neon tube. I think the idea is clear how without a conducting or a how without a conducting medium or a conductor the electricity will pass. The ionized path is provided in the air. That's the use of transmitter transmits an electromotive impulse that's created an ionized path to the upper atmosphere where it ionizes the air. This provides the medium for electricity to pass. The limitations of atmospheric conduction method. First one, it is economically challenging. The periodic changes in atmospheric condition, maintaining high tower potential every time. These are the limitations of atmospheric conduction method. Next, we can check upon electrodynamic induction method. We bring, electromag we bring electromagnetic radiation into practice which uses far-field technique in order to achieve range into kilos which includes two techniques. First one is lasers and the second one is microwave. Let's first check the laser method. The laser transmission. A laser is highly directional coherent, not dispersed for very long, but gets attenuated when it propagates through atmosphere. Simple receiver is required, photovoltaic cell and it is cost efficient too. We all have used laser and we know the path of laser and all those steps we know. And we need to check how this work in wireless transmission of power. Here we can see. Laser method. In the case of electromagnetic radiation closer to visible region of spectrum, power can be transmitted by converting electricity into a laser beam that is then pointed at a solar cell receiver. 
This mechanism is generally known as power beaming because the power is beamed at a receiver that can convert it to usable electrical energy. Here, the power, the electricity is converted in the, into a laser beam that is then pointed at a polar, that is then pointed at a solar receiver. That's what happening here. In the block in the block diagram also you can see the current is converted to the current is converted to laser optical fiber and the, the current is converted to laser optical fiber transformer then to the current is pointed next we can see the microwave method power transmission via radio waves can be made more directional allowing longer distance power beaming with shorter wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation typically in the microwave range a retina may be used to convert the microwave energy back into electricity. Retina conversion efficiencies exceeding 95% have been realized. Power beaming using microwaves have been proposed for the transmission of energy from orbiting solar power satellites to Earth. The principle of evanescent wave coupling extends the principle of electromagnetic induction. Here the principle of electromagnetic induction is used. And the Transmission via radio waves can be made more directional. It allows longer distance power beaming with shorter wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation. That's what happening here and a retina is used and it receives the electrical electricity and it convert it receives the microwave energy and it converts it into the electricity. Retina is a receiving antenna too. The applications of wireless power transmission technology. It is used in near field energy transfer, electric automobile charging, static and moving. Nowadays many electrical vehicles are arriving in the market and it, it, it is an inno innovation in the charging of those vehicles as we have seen many faults in the charging of these vehicles and it will be a solution to it. And later on it will be a big solution to the environmental pollution as these electrical vehicles become famous and it becomes more and more widely used. The consumer electronics, industrial purposes, hash environment, far field energy transfer, those are solar power satellites, energy to remote areas can work broadcast energy globally in future. These are the application where it comes. Can broadcast energy globally in future. There what it means, the innovation in the electricity and its transmission. So check to code that word. It will be one of the innovation that soon going to happen in this century itself, I suppose and I hope. The advantages of wireless transmission of power are it is efficient, easy, need for grids, substations etc. are eliminated, low maintenance cost, more effective when the transmitting and receiving points are along a line of sight, can reach the places which are remote. The disadvantages are when microwaves are used, indifference may arise. When lasers are used, conversion is inefficient due to absorption losses. It is radioactive in nature. Distance constraint. Initial cost is high. Field strength has to be under safety levels. High frequency signals should be su high frequency si signals should be supplied for air ionization which is not feasible these are the disadvantages moving to the conclusion transmission without wires a reality transmission without wires will come to a reality if this system is implemented efficient system low maintenance cost but high initial cost but it is low maintenance cost when initial cost is also high better than conventional wire transfer Energy crisis can be decreased. I have told energy crisis can be decreased. Low loss. In near future, world will be completely wireless. The, tech, the world is after wireless such as mobile phones. Many equipments are nowadays wireless and the power transmission will also be wireless. And in this conclusion, I hope the technology will be implemented soon in the world, in our country soon and let the world develop with this innovative technology. And the references used are, used are this. You can uh, refer here if any doubts are there. And before I concluding, 
I ask you to stay healthy, stay home. Let us fight against Corona in this period. Thank you.